Welcome to Monday Jazz and Conversation, presented by a collaboration of four nonprofit organizations Gold Coast Jazz Society, South Florida Jazz, Sunshine Jazz Organization, and the Miami Jazz Cooperative, all of whom are dedicated to bringing jazz to South Florida audiences. Each Monday, Wendy Peterson and Nikki Orta feature the music and talk to the country's most talented and interesting jazz musicians. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Fedchok to the uh, hang. Hi, Hi everybody. John. Great to be here. Um, the amazing and beautiful and the world's best person, Brenda <laughs> Alford. <laughs> Ooh, Brenda. Live up to that. <laughs> okay, I got some living to do. <laughs> please welcome to Jazz and Conversation, the amazing Joe Donato. Joey D! Hello. How are you? I'm Good so evening, sad that we Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is stress. Ralph Edwards. And tonight, tonight, <laughs> it's Joe Donato. This is your life. And now, the hosts of Monday Jazz and Conversation, Wendy Peterson and Mickey Orta. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hello. everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our first Monday in of April. April. Happy uh, April Fools. This is our April Fools show. Is it now? No, it's not because it's fantastic. Our show tonight is amazing. Um, really looking forward to it. Um, glad that uh, we're still here. After, yes. After a year, uh, we're still here. Yay. We, yep. we made it. Um, and if things are starting to feel like they're normalizing, but still not back completely to normal. So keep staying safe, keep doing what you're doing. Um, we have on the, sh on the show tonight um, a really fun, fun group of musicians um, with, uh, and also a, a man with such an interesting story and an unbelievable story almost, but um, we're really excited because they've, they've actually been part of the Miami Jazz Cooperative um, live presentations for, for a couple of years and, and we love having them. They're, and they're always a, a, a huge fan favorite so we're happy that they could join us tonight. So shall we get... We're talking about the French Horn Collective. We are talking about the French Horn Collective, uh, which is, here's a, a cool shot of them. Led by Vincent. Led by... Come on, you want to try the accent? Vincent Raffart. Oh, I think I think you nailed <laughs> Raff, it. Raffart. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Or, or Rafford, if you want to do it in English. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, without further ado, let's, let's get right... Are you you ready? You ready? I'm, I'm getting us ready. Oh look, I can I hear I hear rum, rumblings. So let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here is the French Horn Collective, led by Vincent Raffard. Good evening.
Great in the. Oh, thank you. I, I get this part. <laughs> That's my friend Dougie. When he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> the puppy loved it. The puppy loved it. <laughs> we are the French Art Collective. Thank you very much. But you know who we are, or we don't know. But if you're just online right now, thank you to watching us. It's a pleasure. I would like to introduce the band just one before Mr. Michel Gonzalez on the guitar, please. <laughs> Mr. Wendell Morrison on the vocal. Thank you. Mr. Kale Sanchez on the bass. And my friend Josefo on the drum. Animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going with a song about Puerto Rico, and it's called Fille de Puerto Rico. <laughs> C'était ton si beau sourire Mais tes yeux diaboliques Me font sortir du cirque Un petit corps, oui, mais pas si fin Rempli d'une énergie proche du félin Et quand je m'y approche Ressortent tous les reproches Griffe dans le dos quand je fais le salaud Pâte de velours quand il s'agit d'amour de Porto Rico, ça peut devenir chaud, perdu en exil de son île, tell me why not. Puerto Rico, we'll rise again, like the phoenix out of the ashes, like a long lost friend. Puerto Rico, we'll rise again, like the phoenix out of the ashes. Oh, yeah. 
que je dis oui, là tout se fond Je redeviens pantin, petit garçon Je plonge dans le vice Et cède à tous ses caprices Griffé par petite chatte, c'est pire qu'une claque Ça rentre dans la peau sans un mot trop Ça touche même le cœur qui ne cherche que son bonheur Griffe dans le dos quand je fais le salaud Pâte de velours quand il s'agit d'amour Puis de Porto Rico, ça peut devenir chaud Perdu en exil de son île, allez t'es J'ai fait salaud, je l'ai quitté pour chien et pas un gros que je sors que le soir pour éviter de la voir. Mais quand arrive la nuit, je pense à elle, ma jolie petite chatte, mon phénomène qui coule dans le vide de mon cœur et ses pères. Griffe dans le dos quand je fais le salaud, hâte de velours. Et de Porto Rico, ça peut devenir chaud Perdu en exil de son île oh. Thank you very much for having us here. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, you don't see online, but if, we see, if you see what we see in front of, uh, of us, it's beautiful. So we are the French and the Horn and the Collective. So we're going to play a little song that probably everyone knows. Yo, mommy, this is for you, baby.
left me with eyes that cry Darling, I, I'm no good without you You know you, you took the best So why not take the rest? So why not? So why not? So why not take all of me? All of me. I'll give you all of me. Yeah. Thank you. We have a beautiful audience in front of us. Very quiet, beautiful. Thank you. You had a good time? Yeah! <laughs> and you on there all night, you have a good time? Yeah! And I think you have a, a link to tips. <laughs> so if you have a good time, you can tips the band. <laughs> oh, that's your job, I'm sorry. Tipping is not a country in China. <laughs> Or a city in Michigan no. <laughs> is alive and well online. <laughs> That's true. It is. And we take Bitcoin. Uh uh. <laughs> I go. All right, no, we go play one more song I, for you. I, I ain't taking nothing. I can't bite. You oh. you take the Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it. <laughs> We're gonna continue with an original music. This song is called Jolie Blonde. I hope you're gonna like it. Un soir de réveillon, à Rosette de Bourbon, je suis à la recherche de nouveaux horizons. Trois pas balancés dans un bar de quartier, qui je n'ai aux cheveux dorés et adossés. Oh, j'en ai plein de cœur, reste bien à l'ombre, car je serai sur toi, sans même que tu me vois. Essayons d'être discret, on s'est dévisagé. Je m'invite à prendre une cuite parmi sa clé. Attiré l'un vers l'autre, je désirais plus que les autres. Quelques minutes se passent Et ça y est on s'embrasse J'y ai pas cru mais fallait dire qu'on avait bu Oh Johnny Rousse Tu me fous la frousse Car tu seras sur moi Sans même que je te vois Et là faut qu'on s'arrête Je sens que je perds la tête Alors frustré je me dois de rire Petit verre de vin, that's a story in French, so if you in France, uh, whatever, and you have a glass of wine. C'est le petit verre de vin. Yeah, whatever. So whatever, yes, <laughs> to, to our beautiful audience, petit verre de vin, petit verre de vin, petit verre de vin, petit verre de vin. 
Whatever he said, do it. <laughs> And I say, et pour le coup, la discussion était de Dans cette période de fête, le trappeur s'annonce ses jouets, même séparé entre Miami et LA. Je lui bloque, reste bien à l'ombre, car je serai sur toi, sans même que je te vois. Ne faut que je aussi, mais pas prêt à renoncer à deux villes séparées. Mais restons connectés, on en trouvant une romance en amour. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if we do it. We have to. I was actually. I do. I should announce that it was the last song of our first set. But uh, I believe. Uh, do we have to do one more? Or we have to wait. Or we gonna talk? I believe so. So it was the last song of our first set. Uh, now we are back uh, to uh, the host. Uh, thank you. <laughs> we are indeed gonna talk, ladies and gentlemen. That is the French Horn collect Collective. Vincent Raffard. How 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 am I doing? You're doing absolutely perfect. <laughs> Did I choke enough? Is that? Rafa, it's a R, the R, the Rafa. Très français, Rafa. So I, I have to ask the obvious question: uh, yeah. Where's the French horn? There's no French horn. You have the, and you have the French, and then you have the horn. So that's the French horn, and then you have the collective, I the French horn collective. I know that's totally unoriginal, but I had to do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's it. okay. I get this question often. Of course. So, v Vincent, where are you from? Tell, tell us a little bit about your backstory. I'm from France, Paris. I grew up in Paris. Close to Paris, actually, a small city called uh, Saint-Cloud and Suren. Oh boy, it's anyway. And, uh, who knows know it? Uh, yeah, it's, a very, it's like a mile away from Paris. Uh, you can see Paris where it is. But it's nice because it's uh, all wood and uh, beautiful. So it's not the CD, CD. And, and when did you become a musician? When uh, you were little or? Yeah, I think so, uh, around 11 and a half, 12, 12. And the first instrument you played I was? I played guitar and okay. I, I loved rock and blues. All right, yeah. It was my music. And uh, so how did you end up here in uh, South Florida? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> uh, oh, it, was it a woman? <laughs> uh, not the first start, but after it, it was, yes. You are killing the questions today. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. Wow. <laughs> no, actually, I, it's a beautiful story that I'm going to have to mention my friend. Well, I'm going to miss up his name because, of course, I'm French. Brandon O'Hara. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yo, Brandon, it's you. Uh, hi. Uh, we met in Paris in 2007. And the story, it's a very interesting story. Uh, a friend of mine was playing for an open mic, and I was supposed to go, and I said, oh, I don't want to go. And, and then a friend of mine, other friend of mine, said, hey, man, call me, and say you should go. And I say, okay, and I go. So I, I, I take my little motorcycle, and I go to, to see my friends, and on my way, and say, oh, I forget my trumpet. So I went back, and I pick up my trumpet, then I arrive. Of course, I arrive late, <laughs> so I miss my French playing. But I see a gentleman take a guitar, and start singing a song. And he was big American guy and start singing a song and he do <laughs> and I look at him and say, hey man, I have a real trumpet. And he said, come on stage, man. <laughs> and then we jam a song. And at the end of the song, we jam another song. And, and then we talk, we had a beer and he said, man, I love the way you sound. You should come to the stage. And I say, well, okay. And he says, this summer I'm doing a tour, come in July. And we make a deal, and that's it. I met him in July 2007, and I stayed. That's amazing. <laughs> and how do you like it? I mean, are, are you enjoying it? Uh, of course. It's the best life. Miami is a great city, and a lot of things happening there are beautiful, and the people are beautiful. And everyone I met here, it's just a perfect uh, situation. And I would love to talk about the band and who I met here, and especially my best first friend, Mr. Wendell Morrison. <laughs> Yeah, d definitely. Tell us about how you you put the band together. We actually met right at the beginning, probably late 2007 or like beginning that. 2008, and it was yeah. We someone say, hey, you know what, Roxanne, tell me that <laughs> you should meet this guy. He's incredible voice, and it's like okay. And then we met at the train station. Traffic. Traffic. I tried transit line. Transit line. She was a, a place in downtown Miami. And then we say, okay, let's make some music. And it came up, 
he sing, he say, give me something on your guitar, on your bass. Oh, you have a, a computer, you can make a beat, make a <laughs> beat. And then we start producing an album, I mean a song, and we, and been we, we, haven't, been we haven't been the same since. <laughs> 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 I love this man. So we had a, a great, uh, great feeling, and we, we started rec- making some record before making some live shows. So it was all about studio and recording, and we had a lot of tracks, but uh, he teach me, taught me, taught me, taught me a lot of, uh, of, of, of things in the music. And then after, we creating the French Home Collective in 2012, 11, I believe, and everyone come in place. Kyle was actually one of the b- first bass player of the band. We had few few times with there him. There he is. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute. Oh, I don't want to hear. Kai, go ahead. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can say something if you want to, but the bass player doesn't talk. That's, That's right. That's right. Everybody <laughs> talks when they play. That's how it works. And then I met Michel a few years ago, and Michel is an incredible guitar player, and it's a lovely time playing with him. And from Michel, I met Josephe. Oh. Uh, and we are all collective working together. So one can and one also cannot, and then we're here. <laughs> and, and Vincent, this style of music, how did you get into that? Very good question. I think this style of music I was always in me. I love the whole f- jazz. I studied jazz, but I love the French jazz. And I, I really love to write songs, and I started actually discovering myself as a songwriter in the States. A little bit before leaving the state, leaving France, but in the States, I started loving writing music, I mean, writing lyrics in French. And then suddenly the music starts talking to me as mm-hmm. this old French gypsy sound, right. and, and I went through it, and, and so it, it just came naturally. I think I'm a, I won't say an old soul, but I love to listen to old music, so maybe yes. Right. <laughs> but you, you know what's kind of interesting about it, even though you know it is retro, you know whatever that means, it really does have a f- such a fresh sound, and it, it, it sounds so alive. Oh, thank you. That's a good compliment. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very nice. And uh, so uh, the obvious question here too is, how has uh, how have you been doing during the this crazy crazy pandemic? It was a, a pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Not me either. <laughs> you, have you guys, uh, I, I was looking at your website, and, and uh, which, incidentally, I, I guess I should show it if anybody's uh, interested in, in finding out more about the band. And you have two uh, recordings, yes? Uh, coming up? Or out back? Yeah, yeah. That's we, I have, have two coming up. And uh, yes, we have uh, actually two. Is two? No, three album actually. Three. No, two or three. And they're all available. No, at three, the, three, three. The Frenchhorncollective.com. I have another glass of wine. Three, three. three. Uh, Kag is right. He doesn't talk too much, but he says the right thing. <laughs> That's right. Representing. Uh, yeah. No, we have two. The first album was actually it's a name called Transit Time. Was recorded in 2013. That you can get still on online on iTunes. So it's not under the Frenchhorn Collective. It's under the French Horn. Okay. okay. So it's Transit Time. Then we record with Kyle on it, and it was Hot Club Miami. And right. uh, so we had the players as uh, Florindo on the clarinet and Caron, uh, Alvaro Bermudez on the guitar, and mm-hmm. Stefan on the violin. And this album, and Shira, Shira sing on it, beautiful singer. Right. And that was in 2015. Then we record another album in 2017, it's called Story d'Amour. Story d'Amour. And this album is like uh, 80% original music with the same musician. And Wendell actually is on this album. We have a few songs with him. Very nice. And, and we have a few things coming up soon. Yeah. So you have been recording during this, this whole uh, corona? I've been, I've been writing, recording, uh, remixing, and a few yeah. things to do. But I actually, I, I, I can't complain because oh, no. I had a... Yeah. Oh, no, I like story. Tell <laughs> no, story. Tell I don't want to tell the story tell now. Tell the story, Vincent. Tell them. Should I tell the story? Yeah, oh, tell the story. There is a story. It's, it's fantastic. Yes. Tell them, it's real. Well, the story, I don't know how to start. The story is like, you know when you're in a dream and you wake up, and when you wake up, everyone said, you know, it's a pandemic right now? And you're like, <laughs> a what? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. a pandemic. Uh, so I don't understand what you mean. Yeah, it's a crisis. You cannot go out. It's a pandemic. So, okay, I make a joke about it, but it's not extremely funny. Um, it's a story happened to me on the 17th of January. And the incredible things that tonight we hear, 
thank you, Rick, you're here. Uh, on the day before, we had this jazz afternoon at Jackson Hospital for the Miami Jazz Cooperative, mm. and we played the Thursday the 16th. And on the 17th, around noon, 1 p.m., I'm, I had a meeting and I drive a motorcycle. And on my way back to my meeting, I didn't go home. I went straight to Jackson. So that's the story. And I spent two months there. So it was a very um, hard moment for my family and friends. For me, I don't know. I was not there. I just just left for a few. So for few those weeks. for those that don't understand what you mean oh. by that, you got into an accident. I get into an accident here yeah. with a. Oh, I cannot tell with what. I get in as you someone get just. <laughs> yeah, just uh, a red light was not uh, respected, and okay. I get hit. And, uh, and so you ended up in the hospital for. Two yes, months. but but on the on the world i mean on the crazy thing is like the, the unfortunate situation saved my life in a way i won't tell too much about it but right. but but it was a situation that they could give me help right away right so i would arrive can, can i say something what happened no. Pr prayer no. prayer prayer, prayer. Yeah, was, uh, yes exactly thank you prayer he had <laughs> friends who prayed over and over and over and over again for days and for months to make sure we bring our brother back um it, prayer works y'all <laughs> and he's and he's a living witness of what prayer can do. Living proof. Actually, Michelle can talk about it because he, they know more that what happened to me than me. Right, because you right. were you were actually in a coma. Yes, I was in a coma for right. for a few days, and uh, yes, I was in a coma, and I, I don't have any memories of of what happened. It's, so amazing. Uh, it's a blind out to that. Blind hallelujah! Out. He's a hallelujah moment, y'all. Well, right. and just the fact that you're here playing tonight, and and how do you feel? I, mean, oh, I feel I feel great. <laughs> Every day, but yes. no. I mean, you see my face. I have uh, half of the face is not totally great, but it's great. No, I um, I, I feel incredible blast to uh, mm -hmm. to enjoy every single moment of life because that's what is matter. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. And, true. And yes, sir. It is what it is. And after you find uh, just relative things, and uh, and yes, but I I did a lot of work to myself. So to go back to your question about the pandemic. I I was released from the hospital in March 2020 and so when I went home it was no gig right because <laughs> right. of the pandemic <laughs> so on the same time I was like my god I'm the most lucky man in the world first of all I'm here <laughs> and yes. then I have all the time I need right, to, to get back yeah because I couldn't play I was like my both arm was broken my ribs was broken they had a very very uh, uh situation with my breathing they, they didn't like they didn't know how else be able to go, go back to breathe again and even to the head to the memories yeah like i could have a blind out total and don't even remember my name so i spent all this time working on myself from uh, from from until june and i remember because the reason foundation if i can mention them uh, called me and say uh we want to do a show with you on June 21st for La Fête de la Musique. It's the day of the music in France at the Ben Shell. And he said, can you play? And I say, I will. Mm. <laughs> and that's what I, so I had my time to say, I will. Yes, so March, rest, April, get back to it. May, practice, June, you play. Yeah. Yes, oh, I love a happy ending. Yeah, that doesn't make news, but it's it's a lot a lot better to hear. <laughs> yeah, and also I can't wait to actually hear the uh, songs you've been writing because that's got to be something. It probably has just changed your perspective in so many ways. Yeah, I am not going to perform it right now because yeah. it's a, it's a different atmosphere. But actually, uh, if I can promote myself, uh, absolutely, uh, it's that's an album. what we're here for. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> uh, it's an album that I'm, I'm uh, I record last summer during the summer 2020, and I went. <laughs> I went to uh, I went to New York State with uh, very good producer friends uh, from Afrobetas, Murphyo, mm -hmm. Tony, hey Tony, and and we recorded an album that some songs that I was already I, I wrote years ago and some new songs as well, and but it's not about the Gypsy Jazz Collective. It's about a French electronic mm -hmm. and a vintage sound with okay. a modern twist. Mm. That's what it is. Nice. And and uh, when are you hoping for that to come out? Uh, right now we are we finished almost every songs and mixed and we have few things to finish. I will I will say 
I will say for September to take our time and not okay. do it too rush. But the idea is to to get back with uh, a new uh, school uh, years. August September will be the time to release it. Yep. And and folks, keep an eye on this website, thefrenchhorncollective.com. That's yep. where you're going to find out all the information about. The, the, you will see the previous recordings. You'll find out about their upcoming yeah. recordings. And as things start to open up, now that the vaccine is here and oh, the yeah. gigs start coming in, that's where you'll see a something you haven't seen in a year, which is a schedule, <laughs> a <laughs> calendar of events. And and I have something to add. is like another album is coming up very soon by the end of the month with Wendell. And we've nice. been working on this album together. It's a duo album that... We write the music together. He sings on most every song. Fantastic. We had some collaboration with some musician and remix, uh, remixed by some by a great musician called Ati Molina to the studio. So you're gonna be able to find a link on our website in few few days or few weeks. We'll go directly to this album. And, and it's, it's called Perfect be, Color. It's called oh, the perfect, nice. Beautiful. The Perfect Color. The Perfect Color. The Perfect. I love it. Can't wait for all these great projects to come out. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know what I wanted to say, and I usually say this every time, uh, we need to support our musicians however we can. And when this pandemic hit and everybody lost their gigs, we decided to try to keep, uh, you know, music alive by doing the show on Monday nights. And it started off, uh, you know, people coming in from their homes and now we're able to do some live shows. But for these, these guys here, this band playing tonight, this is a gig. And so we want to be able to make sure they go, go home paid you know well if you know if possible so uh, please 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 support our musicians this is where we what wh how we have uh, set up the tip jar uh, the first $100 that goes in the tip jar will be matched and all you have to do it's very simple you text the word tip jar to the number 44321 you end up getting a link back um, uh, immediately it's just like you know you, you get a link and it's a it's a very secure um, link so that you can donate whatever you can you know five dollars two dollars a hundred dollars um, whatever it is that you can spare I know everybody's going to have it so well some people are not having tough times some people are having tough times so but music makes us all feel better and uh, so it helps you know the listener and you know we want to be able to help the musicians who are helping us so please if you can support our musicians and uh, uh, text the word tip jar to the number four four three two one and show our musicians some love uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. So, uh, so these gentlemen definitely deserve uh, to feel your love. Absolutely, and uh, you know, thank you so much, all of you, for for coming out. We have another set of music just around the corner yeah. here, uh, but we would like to also make a mention. Oh yeah, so we so you are looking at this beautiful uh, back, you know, the setting of of music. So we want to say a quick shout out to Jack and Roz Zox, who uh, ge generously allowed us to uh, set up in their in their their on their back patio. The thing is with South Florida, we, we always have to find a place. A lot of people have really nice you know patios and backyards, but we always have to find a covered patio oh, wow. because we never know if it's gonna rain. So they uh, do have one, even though we are not using it because it's so beautiful out tonight. Um, so thank you so much, Jack and Roz. We really appreciate it. And uh, it really does look beautiful on, on camera. So yep. uh, we, we, we might be hitting you up more often. <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> that, that's right. I think we've got a, a new hang, a new venue. So yeah, thank you so much for that. And uh, I guess without further ado. Well, is there anything else you want to talk about or you want to just you know hit the music? Uh, we can take a break. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take a break. <laughs> oh, we can't. Okay, good, 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 good to know. No, no, we can. We, we do whatever you you want us to do, and uh, and yeah, would love to have actually if uh, if the musician would like to uh, to say a few words. Uh, sure, uh, guys, would you like to say a few words? And, uh, you'll be happy to. Oh, I don't say no. Can we get Kai to sing a song? Yeah, <laughs> Kai. Kai's gonna talk actually. The let's, days. Let's, let's, uh, Kai, Kai, I'm gonna hold your bass. I don't think so. <laughs> he ain't feeling it. <laughs> I'll get back at you for this. Richard, you can take two words. Whatever you feel in your mind. I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> just just yeah. get up to that mic. Yeah, thank you so much for giving us the chance to, to perform. Because uh, now performing anywhere, everywhere is a luxury. Yes, it is. <laughs> so thank you so much and we go, because we're enjoying. And yeah. 
Nothing Good. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Wendell, you have to say something uh, in English. I will. Yeah, you have to say in English because I think nobody understands mine. <laughs> I just want I just, I just want to th thank God for life. I thank God for my mother. Thank God for my mother <laughs> and my sister. Because uh, last year, I um, I lost my wife. Mm. Sorry. On a, on a, on a, she didn't die. She went shopping. <laughs> I call it going shopping because she went to heaven to, to, to shop for, to shop for a robe for me. Uh huh. So when I get there, she, my robe is ready. Mm -hmm. I also want to say I want to say shout out to the new love of my life, Miss Elizabeth Spragans. Yeah. I love you, darling. Ooh. There you go. Very nice. Oops, I said it. <laughs> I'm in love again, y'all. <laughs> and she heard you. That's it. We have it on the recording. So Ain't love grand. I have to tell you, even if there's like a million of people watching us right now. What? <laughs> I have to tell you something because it's million of people watching us no, right now. I, I don't care who knows. But you know what? Your story make me feel happy. Happy New Year. That's right. <laughs> love is beautiful. All right, well, back to the French Horn Collective. Rainbow. That's it. I would like to sing a song that actually we have on the album Hot Club Miami. It's a, fr it's a French song, a whole French song from the 20s, 30s. It's called J'attendrai, which means I'm going to wait for you. I will wait mm -hmm. for you. J'attendrai. And I think it's the time to sing it because it's all about waiting for you. There you go. Et la nuit, oh j'attendrai toujours ton retour. Oh j'attendrai comme l'oiseau qui s'enfuit, vient chercher l'oubli dans son nid. Le temps passe et court. En battant tristement dans mon cœur si lourd, mais pourtant j'attendrai ton retour.
découvre En battant tristement Dans mon cœur si lourd Mais pourtant j'attendrai Ton retour Ton retour Ton retour up a little bit. Uh, hope you have a good time. Oh. <laughs> All right, this uh, weather makes the string a little out of tune. Hope you have a good time and you get a glass of wine and you get your tea bucket.
check won't bounce tonight, will it? This is the remix of an old song. I changed the lyric a little bit so I can sing this his song. I know a little bit. I know one thing for sure. I'm yours.
hold you in the dark of the night. Let me kiss you where, oops, can't say that, on your thigh. Let me touch you, make you scream and holler. somebody <laughs> thank you very much oh. does people can uh, g uh, do you think as the people he uh, see us as they can message us or they don't do that like write a message hey cool guys oh it is oh good thank you <laughs> hmm. 
One more time for the band, please. I guess we have a few more songs. How long do we have? I can do one more. Oh, you can time. do yes. one more? No, no, we have time. I mean, uh, you tell us uh, how long we have to play more. Are we here? One or two. It's up to you. Oh, we take, we take, we take two. Oh, we take one. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, We're going to continue with the song. It's an original music. It's part of the album Transit Time. And it's called Cobaye de la Maille. Illusion de mes émotions, je me perds dans cette idée Mensonge permanent des médias arrogants Qui font de moi un cobaye de l'âme Je mens comme on me ment, ou bien même comme on vend Des paquets de tendresse pour combler ma détresse Des achats impulsifs aux effets corrosifs D'une vérité tournée en faveur des marchés au oh, cobaye sur la maille, si je prie dans la faille, cobaye, sur la maille, la vie était de la génie à compris. Des paradis perdus dans la jungle des abus Produits bien emballés, déchets dits recyclés Ces fabricants friands de main d'œuvre à bon marché Et moi consommateur, vivant des petites valeurs Je me perds dans les mailles du cobaye de la maille Oh cobaye, je la maille Sans joie d'une famille désemparée L'éducation trempée Volue sous forme de rabais 
La terre donne l'abondance et nous notre arrogance Des biens accumulés pour un plaisir si singulier Pour la joie de l'éphémère on oublie nos planètes terre Et l'on pisse en forme de vie pour n'en laisser qu'un grand désert Oh Thomas, je la marre, suis-je pris L'objet les a Alright. Just this on the drum, please. Yes, sir. Mommy. Animal in the head. Right, yes, I think, I think it sounds like a plan. Okay, I think we are good for the night. We play one more. We have an encore. Those people request online their encore. <laughs> if you're watching us and you're requesting a song, you just have to pad it, to tap, and we're going to see it. Yeah, five seconds. <laughs> Just kidding. No, nobody. Hey, you know what? Nobody. <laughs> oh, I know what we're gonna finish. So yeah, George Brown. Yeah, it's a good happy song. George Brown. Que c'est l'amour. You know that I don't. Et ça n'a jamais, jamais, 
je ne penserai que je serai satisfait Le destin m'a bien montré que je m'étais trompé Même si ça dure pas longtemps, mon cœur est pour cet instant De penser que je suis heureux car je suis amoureux Allez I hope you had a great time with us. It was a pleasure to play thank for you. you. Thank you. And awesome. uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. This is a beautiful setup. And thank you, everyone, to watch online. And I hope you had a good time. And uh, bye bye. And thank you, th thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Jack, for letting us in oh your yes. house. Mr. Jack, it's a pleasure thank you. to meet you Appreciate and to that. have really. us here. That was Vincent Raffard and the French Horn Collective. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So much fun. Bring on the dancing girls now. There you go. So uh, we got to do a little bit of housekeeping uh, to say before we say goodnight. Once again, thank you so much for um, some amazing, amazing music. It's so much fun. Great energy. I wish you could be here to hear it in your own ear holes because there's, it's definitely magical. It's great to see him online, but you know there is really something about that energy uh, that happens when you're hearing it live. It's just uh, amazing. No doubt about it. No doubt. Um, want to uh, just give a shout out and thank our sponsors and or not our sponsors, our partners in this these shenanigans mm -hmm. week after week after week They've for the last great. year. It's been just uh, wonderful having uh, these partners to 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 back us up. So uh, uh, the first one I'm going to recognize is the Sunshine Jazz Organization. You can find their website at www.sunshinejazz.org. Um, we want to do a quick little shout out because they have um, every Sunday they have a, a brunch that you can go to, and here's a little bit more about it. Sunshine Jazz Organization is proud to be presenting world renowned steel pan maestro Othello Molino at weekly Sunday Jazz Brunch from noon to 3 p.m. at KC Healthy Cooking, located on a spacious outdoor patio at 1900 Biscayne Boulevard, serving an excellent gourmet Caribbean menu and great jazz, led by Lloyd Hawkins and Ted McDermott. As Alice Day would say, hope to see your face in the place. Othello Molino on Sunday uh, Jazz Brunch. The next uh, organization I want to shout out uh, to and uh, talk about is the South Florida South Florida Jazz um, organization. It's uh, you're going to go to their website southfloridajazz.org, and uh, they have a fantastic. They have done the most amazing concert series. 
um, during this pandemic and it's been virtual and it's just been fantastic and the last one is coming up so you definitely don't want to miss it here it is hi this is ron weber for south florida jams we are concluding our 2021 virtual season on Saturday, April 17th at 8 p.m. with the hard swinging pianist David Kukowski's quartet featuring tenor saxophone titan Eric Alexander, one of the most respected and prolific artists on the jazz scene, with bassist Jill Martin and the incomparable Billy Hart on drums. Details and ticket information are available at southfloridajazz.org. Once again, it's Saturday, April 17th at 8 o'clock. See you, sort of, then. Yeah, so that's going to be fantastic as well. So don't miss that. Uh, the next organization that we're partnered with is the Gold Coast Jazz Society. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about their upcoming event because I get to be part of it. Thank gosh, I get to get, sing live and in person uh, coming up. So April 14th, that's actually going to be next, is that already next Wednesday? It's, it's you know, this, this already this month is going by fast and it just started. Um, April 14th at 7.30 p.m. at the back, it's called Backlot Live, which is part of the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. They are setting up a stage in a back parking lot and that's Spring Into Jazz with Ken Poplowski Quartet. Um, you're, we're going to uh, take a fresh look at classics and I get to be the special guest, so I'm really excited. Um, Ken Poplowski is a clarinet virtuoso, also a fantastic sax player. Um, and he really is, you know, he's one of these people that I can remember hearing him play and uh, I felt like he was singing through his instrument. It just felt that, that um, melodic and that in touch with the lyrics and the emotion. So uh, if you haven't heard Ken Koplowski live, do yourself a favor um, and check it out. The tickets are already on sale. It's going to be, you know, you're going to be masked and socially distanced, but they're, they're doing it the right way. So I'm really excited about this. Um, so definitely come by and say hi, because, you know, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen all of you. I would love to see you um, in person, live and in person. Um, so, uh, and of course, the Miami Jazz Cooperative. You can find us at themiamijazz.org. And uh, we're, we, you know, other than putting on, helping to put on this show every Monday night, we are in the works uh, of trying to, to work on uh, bringing back our uh, Jazz at Jackson series on Thursdays, and we'll let you know when, when that can happen. Um, uh, but coming up on the show, so next Monday, we will feature Ken Poplowski, kind of warming y'all up and uh, enticing you to come to the concert. Uh, so we'll be talking with him about his career and, you know, his many, you know, uh, accolades and uh, find out what he's been doing his, his whole career and uh, what he's been, you know, hooking up during the pandemic. Uh, so that's next Monday at 8 p.m. And then the following Monday, April 19th, we are doing a Chick Corea tribute. Um, this is gonna be a fun location shoot. Yeah, so we are actually going to be, uh, we are actually going to be hosted. Host, the Gazers are hosting us with their beautiful um, grand piano. And, uh, and uh, no, they're, you're they're, all set they're, they're getting ready, they're getting the piano tuned. And uh, and uh, so we'll be ending up from their house and we're gonna have at least between six and I don't know, 10 piano players paying tribute and homage to the amazing Chikoria and giving us a little insight into what Chikoria meant to them and how he, influ he influenced their playing. So that's, just, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And then what do we got? Finishing off the month. Oh my gosh, finishing off the month with Jennifer Wharton, who is just a fun, crazy chick. <laughs> and a fantastic, and a great player. A great player. Great so she is brand new. Um, uh, an album coming out CD is it an album do we say album do we say what uh, recording I guess it depends a brand how, new recording. how old you are yeah 
cassette. So it's an album. Yeah. It's a, yeah. uh, she has a brand new recording coming out um, and uh, with her group called Bonegasm. So we'll be checking in with her and finding out what that's all about and where you can find it. And we'll be playing cuts. She's a lot of virtual um, big band with, you know, gr- uh, recordings yeah. with her group. So this is going to be a lot of fun. It'll and she's just, she's just a lot of fun. And I'm hoping that we'll have a little cameo by uh, J- JF yeah J- John Fedshock so anyway tune in Monday nights we love have, seeing you we love your comments we love you know just the fact that we're able to connect in some way so have a fantastic evening stay safe and we will see you next week good night <laughs>